Our ongoing series, Climate in Crisis, we're living through the changes. Summers are getting hotter in many Bay Area cities, and it's not just making us sweat more, it's also worsening our air quality. NBC Bay Area's Melissa Colorado takes a look at what we can do to fix it. Surely you've asked yourself this on a sweltering hot day. Why does it always feel like it's hotter when you're downtown, surrounded by buildings? Then when you're in a less dense part of the city where there's more green space, it's called the urban heat island effect, and you don't need thermal vision goggles to see the impact it's having on our communities. Well, I don't have an AC, so I just go, I just make sure I'm uh, outside uh, in the shade a lot. Defremery Park in West Oakland is an oasis for people like Deborah Britt when the temperature soars past 80 degrees. That's because most of West Oakland is covered in asphalt, concrete, and other materials that absorb heat. The city's sustainability manager says the urban heat island effect explains why it can be five degrees hotter in the city's industrial flatlands than in the Oakland Hills. That's really a story of two different Oaklands. That's a tree canopy coverage of 50% or more in the hillside areas and only 4% in the flatland low-lying areas of Oakland. That kind of disparity is exactly the type of inequity that Oaklanders have faced for generations. The urban heat island effect isn't just making summer days hotter for people like Deborah. It's also polluting the air she breathes. Sunlight and heat reacts with smog that comes from cars and trucks. Abby Young from the Bay Area Air Quality Management District explains what happens next. As temperatures rise above about 80, 85 degrees, that reaction speeds up. So more and more ground level smog gets created. Yes, it is getting worse. Uh, sometimes I even feel like I may have a um, little difficulty breathing. Asthma, bronchitis, um, these kinds of ailments uh, get a lot worse. There's things cities and the average homeowner can do to cool off the heat island effect. The EPA advises planting trees and vegetation, creating green roofs like rooftop gardens, switching to cool roofs that can reflect sunlight, installing cool pavements that can reflect heat instead of absorbing it. We are looking at a coastal live oak. This is the same type of tree that is native to this area. Daniel Hamilton and his team have already planted 50 of these trees. In five to 10 years, they'll get big enough for Deborah to sit under. The city is also in the process of creating an urban forest master plan, which will map out the other neighborhoods in desperate need of relief from the urban heat island effect. They're actually fantastic at sucking carbon out of the air and giving us back oxygen, exactly the type of reversal we need to see to help tackle climate change. In Oakland, Melissa Colorado, NBC, Bay Area News.